Hey everybody, welcome to an exclusive goodebeater.com video tutorial. My name is Marcus. Today I'm going to teach you how to borrow ebooks from the library using your Amazon Kindle Touch e reader. Now I have the 3G model in my session, but this, this tutorial is applicable to the Wi Fi model as well as the various Kindle Touch special offers. In order to borrow books from the library, you need a uh, library locally that deals with OverDrive. At OverDrive is the largest company that facilitates borrowing ebooks digitally from libraries. So, in order to get started, obviously, you need a Kindle Touch e reader. You need to plug it into your computer via the micro USB cable that comes with the device. This, this adapter or cable is not only used to power your device, but also allows you to copy ebooks uh, to it. Here is the main OverDrive website. The web address is library2go.lib.overdrive.com. And what we want to do is we want to uh, log in to the service. So once you select your state, because we've already selected our state as Oregon, you want to select your library. So you can see in Oregon there's a lot of libraries that participate in OverDrive. So we're going to select the one we have access to here. Now here's our card number and our secret four digit PIN number and we have successfully logged in. So pretty simple so far. You have a number of options here on your main account. This is your to-go cart. These are books that you've added to your cart but not necessarily have checked out yet. You also have your lending periods. If you have borrowed ebooks before, they will show out here. If ebooks are not available you can put a hold on it so you're more or less in queue to borrow it. Wish list and rated titles pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to click home here and I'm going to click on a book here Chambers of Death and you can see it's book six medieval mystery series. You can see the author's name, publisher, imprint now this book is only available in EPUB format, so it's not compatible with our Kindle e-reader. So what we want to do is basically search the library for Kindle books that are actually available. The best way to do this is click on Advanced Search. And you can see here a number of criteria, title, author, ISBN, and such. What I'm concerned about right now are all Kindle books that are actually have copies available. And I'm going to click search. Sometimes the search process, depending on the library and how many books they have, may just take a few seconds. It may take at most maybe 30 to 40 seconds in order to load. So we're just uh, waiting for it to show us all the books available. Okay. So all the books that it's showing here are books that are in Kindle format and a library has them available. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to click on the first book here, Iron Sunrise by Charles Strauss. You see it's sci-fi. They have one copy available and they do have it in multiple formats for Kindle, EPUB, and PDF. Now, you don't necessarily need a Kindle e-reader in order to borrow Kindle books, but if you have, for instance, an iPad or iPhone, you can download Amazon Kindle for iOS. Uh, same if you have an Android device, you can borrow books using Kindle for Android. So here's a book that I want and I'm going to add it to my to-go cart and it you know pretty well says unless you check this book out it'll only be in your cart for 30 minutes before it bounces back the lending period is only seven days and so I'm going to proceed to checkout so maximum checkouts allowed at one time on my card I have one book checked out already 
and I'm limited to four checkouts. So I'm going to confirm this checkout and now I have officially checked it out. Now it's not actually on my e-reader yet but this is the next step. So I'm going to click on this button here say get for Kindle and what it does is it redirects you to your Amazon account. If you're not logged in by uh, default what you want to do is log into Amazon and it says you're signed in and I have a number of devices here. I'm going to send it to my cloud and I'm going to click get library book. Okay so uh, next time my e-reader syncs basically it will be copied to my Amazon at Kindle Touch. So pretty simple. Um, we will include step-by-step -step tutorials as well as all the links you need in our upcoming blog post. So if you're viewing this on our official YouTube channel or other video outlets, you know, check out our blog for the full uh, link list of everything. So we hope that this tutorial has uh, been informative and insightful. So if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reply to this video or just give us your thoughts. We uh, hope that you have a nice day. My name is Marcus, and you've just watched a Goody Reader video tutorial on how to borrow ebooks from the library using Overdrive. Everybody, take care.